Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back, back to Bulldog, Bulldog Buzz. Buzz. I'm Bao. And I'm Cam. And we are your anchors for this week. This week, Caleb will be giving us the inside scoop on International Club. And Cody and Megan will be giving you all the results on the spring sports. Lastly, we're doing a new St. T segment for the next three weeks. That's right. We're going to present to you videos where the entire senior class describes their future plans. Now let's check out what International Club is doing. Thanks, Val and Cam. I'm here with... Erica. And she's going to give you a little insight on International Club and what they're doing this month. So, uh, Erica, what is International Club and how can people get involved? Right, so International Club is a student-led organization. Our like, mentor or faculty member is Senor Peralta, you guys all know him. And we just focus on learning about different cultures each month, and we focus on a country, and then we try out some of their food, and we have a little presentation on their history and what the country is like now. So what are a couple of the uh, countries and events that International Club, Club has done this year? This year we celebrated Black History Month. We also celebrated the countries of Italy and Poland. And then also when we were celebrating Black History Month, we went to the Black History <coughs> Museum with some of our members. So it was a little field trip. I personally remember that was a really cool experience for me. So uh, Erica, what country is International Club doing this month? This month we're doing Ukraine. And uh, what exactly, like, how, what is International Club doing to raise awareness for Ukraine? So this month we decided to do like a little hallway where we made posters that detail the war in Ukraine and then it also gives ways that you can help out with the war efforts. And we're also going to have a little poster note section where students can comment on how they think St. Teresa could get involved. And when is the next International Club meeting? Right now. So it's Friday during activity period, so if that's airing right now, then you need to be there in St. Norton. Well, thank you, Erica, and I hope you get involved with the International Club, and I hope to see you right now. I'm here with Jack Kramer, and he's going to give us a quick tour of International Club's hallway for Ukraine. All right, so this is our little hallway that we have set up for Ukraine to raise awareness about the war. We've got a lot of posters here showing pictures of what's going on, along with some facts about Ukraine. Uh, and this is basically just to raise awareness about what's actually going on Ukraine. We've got some a little bit of articles and ways that we can actually help uh, to support Ukraine during this time. Thank you, Jack. And I would highly recommend you come check out this hallway. There's a lot of neat things here and a lot of facts that you can get informed about Ukraine. Back to you, Cameron and Bell. Wow, I had no idea what was going on in Ukraine. Same. I knew Russia invaded Ukraine, which affected our gas prices, but not about that. Thank you for that segment, Caleb. Now let's see what Megan and Cody have to say about the sports. Thanks, Cam and Valerie. I'm Megan. And I'm Cody. And, and we, we are, are here, here with, with the sports. sports. A lot of sports successes have been happening at St. Teresa, and we are more excited to recap them with, for you all. Yes, to start off, the baseball has had three games in this last week, and they won all three against Meridian, Cornerstone Christian, and Clinton. They also had their senior night last Saturday and won that game against Cornerstone Christian. They beat them with a whopping score of 10 to 1. Congratulations to, on a wonderful season so far to all the seniors. Bryson Jackson, Bradley Vandercar, Jaden Sanderfield, Zach Hollis, Corley Galladay, and Miles Dixon. I really am going to miss all those seniors. It's crazy that school year's almost over. I agree. The seniors have a little over one week left, and it's crazy to me. Crazy stuff. Up next to softball. They had a game Friday against Brittian, in which they lost by one. They split a doubleheader against Beardstown on Saturday, and won again on Monday against Clinton. Oh yeah, and they have an away game on Friday against Tuscola. Lulu was telling me that they only have seven games left in their regular season. Wow. Make sure to come out and support them before the season is over. On top of that, boys and girls track competed in the Macon County meet Tuesday. The boys team plays first, and the girls plays third. Now we will be listening to the top two finishers in each event. Cameron Kernigan and Demi Drake plays second in the pole vault. Jeremy Walker plays second in the 200. Cameron Kernigan plays first in the 400. Christian Burley plays second in the 400. Caleb Kernigan plays first in the 800 and the 1600. Ellie Stair placed first in the 32, and Evan Cook placed second in the 32. And all the boys' relays swept the fields, and the girls placed first in the 4x8 and second in the 4x2. Now, select members of the Scottsdale Bowl team traveled to Washington, D.C. and competed in the Scottsdale Bowl Nationals. Here are some of the results. Logan Phillips placed second in land history, fourth in military history, seventh in ancient history, and twelfth in histor historical geography. Ken Trudum placed sixth in Latin history, eighth in Asian history, and chemistry. Ben Trudum placed sixth in Latin history for the JV division. Cam Napick placed ninth in chemistry, tenth in physics, and fifteenth in recent history. Max Lopez placed tenth and was a semifinalist in political science. Ian McCurdy placed twelfth in ecology. 
Lanny Kramer plays 13th in ecology, Caleb Graham plays 14th in biology, and Paul Candelario plays 15th in chemistry and biology. That's a lot of great successes around St. T right now. I know. It's a great time to be a bulldog. <laughs> yes. Well, that's all we have for you guys this week. Back to you, Cameron and Val. It is crazy to me how there is only one month left of spring sports. I agree. I can't wait to see how everyone does in this postseason. Now we are going to check out what some of the seniors plan to do outside of high school. Hi, I'm Cindy Allison, and I'm going to Palm Beach Hills School of St. Louis and doing the cosmetology program. Okay, my name is Taylor Murray. I'm going to Richland in the fall, and I'm going to be a dentist. Hi, I'm Grace Buxton. I'm going to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, and I'm studying marketing. My name is Justice Chapman. I'm going to Truman State University. I'm studying business management. All right, my name is Tariq Cole. I go to uh, St. Teresa, and I don't know what college I'll be attending, and I will be going to the NFL. My name is Denim Cook. I'm going to Truman State University, and I major is undecided. My name is Noah Street. I'm going to Baylor University and studying business. Diver Sarwinski. I'm going to University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point. I'm studying forestry. My name is Lawrence Los Reyes, and I'm undecided on where I'm going to go, but I'm going to major in nursing. My name is Miles. I'm going to SEMO to study free ball. My name is Demi, and I'm going to Richland with an undecided associate. I'm going to Millican University and I'm studying the elementary education with a minor in theater. I'm Aiden Anderson. I'm going to Millican and I'm, I'm undecided. My name's Erica and I'll be going to Johns Hopkins to study computer science and cognitive science. Um, my name's Abby Gillespie and I'm going to Richland then Parkland for dental hygiene. I'm Corley Galladay. I'm going to Millican University and I'm undecided what I'm majoring in. My name is Guy Hayes. I'm going to Elmhurst to study nursing. Well, that's all we have for you guys this week. I'm Val. And I'm Kim. And we will see you guys next week.